Hi, everybody, and welcome back. This is David Robertson from the Financial Center once again to just uh, share some thoughts with you. Well, we've had a little bit of uh, excitement since last time we talked in that, uh, A, we've had some uh, expected uh, volatility from the latest uh, developments in the tariff TIF. We also had some uh, rate reduction from the Fed chair, uh, Jerome Powell. Uh, so let's talk about that for a minute, uh, the Fed chairman and Fed chairs and who they are and what they do. I said names to you like Paul Volcker, Alan Greenspan, Ben Bernanke, Janet Yellen, Jay Powell. Uh, you probably remember those names because those last few Fed chairmen that we've had. Uh, their job is to stimulate or, or to slow down the economy, and they do that by raising or lowering interest rates. Job is also to regulate the banking system to keep bank panics from happening. So uh, how, they, how do they slow down the economy? Um, their mandate is to keep the economy running smoothly, so they can uh, put on the brakes, if you will, if they see that uh, uh, the economy is running along at a, at a very brisk clip and there's a concern about inflation. Well, they can tamp the brakes a little bit, and they do that by increasing interest rates. Now, when they increase interest rates, business uh, capital becomes more difficult to acquire. So businesses have to slow down. They might not reinvest. They might not hire as many new people. Um, also, if uh, oh, interest rates are higher, people that are thinking about buying a new home, they might hold off on that purchase. Uh, also, buying a new car, hold off on that. So it tends to slow down the economy. Now, um, higher interest rates benefit savers because now they can get a little bit more on their checking and their savings accounts at the bank. Uh, um, so that's good for them. But on the other hand, when economies are, are dragging or slowing down, they can do the opposite, which apply the gas pedal on the economy. They reduce interest rates, which makes capital more uh, easy to attain for businesses. Businesses can then go out and borrow money at a cheaper rate. They can hire more people. Uh, they can refinance their debt. Um, for homes and cars, uh, now that home becomes a little bit more photo affordable because the interest rate is cheaper. But it punishes savers to the degree that now they earn less on their checking and savings but they're forced to go out and to take risk with that money if they need income for retirement, which when they take risk, that means that they need to buy stocks to provide income. And when they buy stocks, there are more buyers than there are sellers. That tends to create and push stock prices up, which stimulates the economy. Um, is all this gonna work with the latest rate reduction? We'll see. Until next time, we're helping you to make the, the best choices possible and live the best lives possible. We'll see you next time. Bye now.